So in this video, I'll be showing a demo of adding two light bulbs that are Bluetooth mesh certified from Sylvania to a mesh network that also um, comprises of a, uh, an NRF52 development kit that I programmed to control these uh, light bulbs. And I'm gonna be doing the provisioning from an Android phone running the NRF mesh application. So first of all, um, I have the two Sylvania smart bulbs. Um, they are available on Amazon to purchase. Uh, one of them is a filament Edison-like uh, light bulb. The other one is a, um, a full color light bulb. Uh, as of now, uh, the, uh, I'm just controlling it with on off. However, in the future, it could be, the development could, kit could be div uh, also programmed to control the, the color as well as the intensity and, uh, and so on. So when we first get those light bulbs, I just want to make sure that they are reset from the provisioning. So the way they, we do that is by turning on and off five times. And the last time it's basically going to flash three times before it's available. And so now I'm just going to go to the NRF mesh application. And as you can see, uh, the development kit is also advertising. Uh, it's not provisioned yet. I've reset it. And so all the devices are showing up now in order to provision them. This is in the NRF mesh application available from Nordic on both iOS and Android. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and provision the switch, which is the development kit. And we'll go ahead and identify and then provision. It's connecting, this could take a few minutes, a few seconds, sorry. up to maybe a couple minutes or so, depending on the complexity of the, uh, the application. And right now I have the, so it looks like it completed. I have the development kit uh, basically just uh, connected to a Bluetooth, a, sorry, a USB um, battery pack. So it's not connected to a computer. So once we have it now, I'm gonna configure it to do a couple of things. So I have the app key already there, but what I'm gonna do is in the elements two, three, and four. Um, so the application, what I have it here is doing is I'm gonna program button one to control F1, button two to control C1, and button three to control both of them at the same time as a group and button four to basically turn them off. And so the way we do this is we go to, so this is uh, the generic on off client and you'll see I have three of them. One for each of the buttons of the clients. So one is gonna act as a client um, for F1. The other one is, act, is gonna act as a client for C1 and the last one is gonna act as a client for the group of these two uh, light bulbs. So let's go ahead and bind the key for the first one. And I'm just gonna use a publish address of C00 uh, or CEE1, or let's start with zero. And that's what we have here on the, on the sticky notes. So I need to have this published to CEE0. The next one, I'm gonna set the public publication. Well, first let's bind the key, set the publication to CEE1, as we see here. Once I do that, I'm gonna hit apply. And now we go back and let's do the last one. And this is 
going to control the group address, which I set the address for both lights um, to where I'm going to configure it so that they both are subscribed to this address. So in here, the publish address here, I'm going to have it CEE2 for this one. Okay, so now we have the switch added. Let's go ahead and add the two light bulbs. And I'm gonna start with F1, which you can see it's identified now. Um, I'm gonna provision it. Before I do that, I'm gonna just rename it to Sylvania and then F1. And then provision. This is usually pretty fast. And it's done provisioning. It's just connecting to it again. Okay, so we now we have it here. Let's go ahead and provision the last one. C1. And as you can see, it's flashing. I'm going to change the name as well to be C1 to identify provision. So the power of Bluetooth mesh is that you can buy devices off the market, um, off the shelf, third-party devices, um, knowing that you'll be able to use switches from different manufacturers as well as light bulbs from different manufacturers and different kinds of devices. And that you, you can, you're going to be guaranteed that they're going to work together as long as they're Bluetooth mesh certified. Okay, so now I have both light bulbs. I'm going to go ahead and configure light bulb um, F1. And for this one, um, I don't need to add, I, I already have the app key. Let's control the element. So this one has one element and I'm gonna configure it as a um, generic on off server. It's already there. I just need to bind the key and set the subscribe address to both of these addresses. So we'll start with ZCEE0. Add the group address as well, CEE2. And that's it for this one. You actually go back now and go to the next one, configure it. And this one has multiple elements because it can control the color as well as uh, different um, options. Um, but we're going to control the element one the generic on off server, bind it, subscribe, and I also have two addresses to bind here, CEE1 and CEE2. And it's already done now, so I can go back. I don't really need the smartphone now, so I can set it aside. And let's do ahead, go ahead and test with the development kit. So let's uh, first turn off all both light bulbs. And that's by pressing button four here. So as we said, button one should turn on F1 by itself. And that's what happens here. Button two should turn on C1. Let's go ahead and turn them off. Let's try button three, which should turn on both of them. Um, unless I had something set up here incorrectly. Yeah, for some reason, the message did not go through. But as you can see here, I can turn them off. I can turn F1 turn them both off, which C1 is already off, turn on C1 only, off, turn both of them on and off. If you'd like to uh, learn more about this and um, also go through and uh, download the source code to, to, to uh, program the development kit to do this kind of application, as well as learn more about the light bulbs and where you can get them from, um, navigate, go to the blog and uh, read more about it up there. Thank you for watching.